Howdy, I'm Bob Terry. Welcome to the Forsaken Westerns. Up next, we've got an episode out of a Western anthology series that aired from 1955 to 1956. The title of the series is Frontier, and our star is Jack Kelly. Most of you remember Jack Kelly as being Bart Maverick in the Maverick TV series. Jack played Bart Maverick starting in 1957 and continued through the whole series. The title of this episode of Frontier is Hostage. And our other stars are Kenneth Toby, Trevor Bardette, and Ted DeCorsa. Sit back, relax, kick your boots up, and enjoy this. And we'll see you after the show. The material for Frontier is gathered from diaries, letters, and official records. The stories are true, sometimes heroic, sometimes violent, sometimes gentle. All a part of our American heritage. Tonight's story is such a story. This is the West. This is the land of beginning again. This is the story of men and women facing the frontier. This is the way it happened. Wyoming Territory, 1887. High country bordering the Dakotas. Three horsemen out of the town of Mule Creek, riding away from it, from a bank robbery. One of them, a hostage. if it'd do any good. It's not that I'm afraid of dying, but what good is it gonna do you? If the posse catches up with you, they're gonna hang you anyhow. That's just the point. You living or dead don't make any difference. Only it doesn't make any sense. Look, I'm not asking for myself. A time like this, a man's gotta say it even if he sounds cowardly. I don't mean it to sound cowardly. Only there's a wife and a couple of kids. I want to play games with him, Chuck. Go ahead. You don't want to be here. What about right now? What about him, anyway? I don't know about him. Do what you want. Yeah. Elmo would get sore and go crazy just because I did something he didn't say do. You ain't getting out of this alive, Van Clerk. Elmo? Nobody followed like it, make out. I lost Ash and the rest about 10 miles out of town near the creek. Ash ain't gonna be so easy to lose. We'll go up to Dakota country. They won't know where to look. It was me you crossed. It was me you planned a robbery with and did it with and was supposed to meet and cut up the money with and then you didn't. I'd follow you. Dakota country or anywhere. Listen to him. What about him? Oh, yeah. Got a lot to thank you for, mister. Listen, I'm asking for my life because I'm thinking of some others back in town. Look, I'll walk back to town. I won't tell anybody where you let me go or that you're riding into the Badlands. Unless we used you as a shield coming out of that bank, maybe Mart, me, Shuck, and the rest of them would have been shot down. Thank you, you saying I'm sorry. Look, I'm not hiding behind her. If you don't believe it, kill me now, but my wife depends on me and my kids. Not a lot I can do about that. Why don't you shoot him? What are you teasing him for? Explaining. Man's gonna die, at least do something swift about it. Why don't you sit down, Mart? I don't like it any more than you. Why do you pain him? All he's doing is standing there thinking about a family he's got, how he's alive now, in a minute he's gonna be dead. He's getting old, ain't he? <laughs> Worried about running out on Ash? Panicky because there's a killing? Why don't you sit down, old man? What's your name? Look, if you're going to kill me, do it. What's your name? Why, you murdering thief! Now talk to me. Who are you? Orrin Walsh. Orrin? 
Look at it from my point of view. Elmo, who's panicky? You got to get forgiveness from him? Mart. Listen, Mart. Yeah? Look, why don't you sit down and don't say any more than you have to? Just answer me, that's all. Who's panicky? Kill him and be done with it. Shuck will do it for you, won't you, Shuck? <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. Hey, you know what? We're acting a little crazy. Here we are with a saddlebag full of money, and we're ready to draw on each other. Make up your own mind about it. The only one to do any good is Shuck. You'd like to see Martin May draw, wouldn't you, Shuck? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Forget it, Mart. Look, mister. Just run or something, will you? Just so... Lost him outside of town near the creek. Must have seen me. Must have seen him. I didn't have the saddlebag. Followed me. You see him? No. He's down there somewhere. You move, mister. You're dead. Now, I'll tell you what. You see the saddlebag on that bay horse? You go get it and bring it over here. What am I going to do with you? It's crazy to kill me with you fighting for your own life. Hey, Elmo! That you, Ash? Wouldn't be the bossy, Elmo. And enough of us. Just five. Just us. Come on down and say hello. You lead him right up here. We can't even get out. Shut up. Oh, boy, that's a clever thing you did. Shut up! Uh, <laughs> I should have known better. Elmo, when you and Chuck come to me, I should have known better. When you said instead of rendezvousing with Ash and the others after we took the bank, I should have walked right away from all of it. Well, you didn't. You're here. Yeah, like you said, Elmo, I'm a man growing old. I thought the less to cut up the money, the more I'd have to grow old with. Man growing old with nothing is a greedy man. Well, what are we going to do? Mr. Walsh. How much in that payload we took from your bank? 20,000 or more. Want to tease them with $20,000, Elmo? You mean give it to them? How else you figure we get out of here? Now, don't you do it, Elmo! Don't you worry about it, Chuck. <laughs> I vote with you, Elmo. I got just about strength to fight this out and not enough to ever get that much money. Loose my hands. Give me a gun. What? I'll bargain with you. I'll help you fight your way out of here. You just let me go on home. Look, I won't turn on you. Coming down out of there alive. Hey, Elmo, you've gone crazy wasting ammunition like that. Fight your own fight. Maybe he's got something. We could use another gun. Rifles on the horses. We can't get to him. Look, I can shoot. I can handle a gun. He's got an extra one. We was going to shoot him, Elmo. Now, what happened to that? Well, I can help you. It don't make sense for you to kill me now, because I can help. Then what? We let you help us, we get out of this, then what? You let me go back to Mule Creek? One way or another, you're a dead man sitting there breathing. Look, reason with him. You can tell him. Mister, one thing can't happen now. Any kind of argument between Chuck and Elmo and me, only way to keep alive. Elmo don't want you to have a gun, I say that's right. This whole thing's about ruined anyhow. As soon as we decided to cross Ash, it got ruined. 
Your life don't mean anything. The gun battle lasted the rest of the day. When night fell, a full moon rode in the sky so that maneuvering was cautious. One side had the advantage of high ground, the other the advantage of rifles. Desperate men would give no quarter to one another, nor expected it. You're born for it, Chuck. Maybe we all are. During the night, when for a while there was stillness and a waning of the battle, Ash ordered one of his men to infiltrate to bring back his share of the stolen money and to kill the man who had cheated him. Kill them both. You asked me to let you, Mark. Then there'd be just the two of us. Walt! Come back or I'll kill you where you stand. Don't think, Walsh, for it'll be the death of you, from them or me. Now fall to the ground and come back here to Martin me. It's a way to save your life. running from us. Ash Barn, the only way out of here. He'd let you get the taste of it. He'd let you walk a free man long enough for the sweet of it to run through you, then he'd have killed you. Then give me a gun. 
Give me a gun so as I can help, so we can fight our way out of here. Twice now you've done for us, being hostage and shield at Mule Creek, and now saving us from being killed in our sleep, whether you meant to or not. Shot carried a carbine in the saddle holster. You run and get it. Tying a man's life to a string, tossing it close, then pulling it away, close and then away. Ooh. I need you. I need you to stay alive. But it's all the hurt you'll ever give me. You run and get that gun. other to stay alive. Well, you try. March quick and me. You try, Bank Teller. Half my share, he lets us go. Creed's spilling out of me. You tell him. Cover me. Elmo. Baylor! You tell Ash I'm willing to talk. You tell him I got something to say. You run and tell him, Baylor. The fear of wounding you or killing you? A man with a wife and kids? I got it in my hands to set you free, bank clerk. So you tell me now, how much we take from you? Ten thousand! Ten thousand and get out! Or keep killing and you left for the mountain hawk! You crossed me, Elmo. A man I lived a life with. Times you slept, and me awake watching for law. And times the both of us running and begging a bite of food, and being turned away and having to kill for a crumb of bread. All of it, Elmo. Every penny we robbed. All of it. You dead. All of you dead. But you can't lift a finger when we come to take it. All the bullets we got except what's in our belts. Count them out, Walsh. What's in that box is all the time you got left. You've always wanted, Mart. You'll die a rich man. Here, car it out. 
Take your half share. You killing Shuck the way you did. He tried to cross us, stealing and running out. You're killing Shuck the way you did makes you one of the richest men in the territory. Maybe killing wasn't needed, huh? Maybe just to talking to. Maybe giving him a slow hurt. But you as that greedy old man. It's time for dying. May as well come now. Let it come, Mart. We'll go on and kill. Kill each other. The pleasure you wouldn't have been, Tiller. I'll make a run for it. Wait till night and ride swift down that hill and right through them. It's our only chance to stay alive. But you like dying so much that you're gonna do his work down there. Kill each other. It's supposed to be that much easier for him to get the money. No, all he has to do is wait. Till you're crazy with it. Till you're dead with it. That's all he must do now. Wait. Night and the surprise of it. What he said, our only chance. You'll be riding ahead of us, Bank Teller. Now you know the time of your dying. long to buy everything I wanted. I always wanted everything I was. Now it's come down to one thing. The need to stay alive. The pleasure in it and the freedom of it. I'm letting you live, Elmo. I just bought back my life. How are you going to buy back yours? You mean to kill me? Don't see what else there is. Let you live, make something mocking out of my being free. Let you live. You don't run to wife and kids. You run first to sheriff, then with no, posse. No, but it won't be like that. You go where you want. Badlands, wherever. Look, let me go. Like you asked them. Let me live. I can't. I'm sorry, I can't. And I'll be ashamed of the grieving I cause. Thank <laughs> you. 
He rode back to Mule Creek to his wife and child, then to the sheriff, and a posse was formed. In Dakota Badlands, they found Ash and his men. There was a gunfight. Ash was killed. His men tried and imprisoned. Elmo was buried where they came upon him in the wilderness. It happened that way. Moving west. On frontier, names of persons and places are sometimes changed. The facts remain. Tonight's story was such a story. What another great episode of almost lost, almost forgotten Western television. You also saw Don Gordon and our narrator is Walter Coy. This episode is in rough shape. Unfortunately, it is the only copy of this episode known to exist. A very interesting side note to this. As I told you, this episode's title is Hostage. It's the final episode of the Frontier series. The first episode that Jack Kelly starred in, in Maverick, is also titled Hostage. My name's Bob Terry. Thank you for joining us here for the Forsaken Westerns. We hope you'll join us again next time. Have a great day.